I usually spend my Friday nights on the road performing. However, this Friday, my church is up to have a 70s party, and it was the Motown theme. And since I'm a member of the church, I went and I, I was myself. Detroit is known for its history of cars and its history of music. When Henry Ford invented the automobile, we were designated as the automobile capital of the world. Everybody's proud of the fact that we have changed the name and the place from Motortown to Motown. Every song that you've heard about Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, The Miracles, Stevie Wonder, Supremes, Contours, Temptations, Mary Wells, Marv Johnson, Barrett Strong recorded right here in this house. Martha Reeves and the Vandellas right there. If you peek at that little hole right there, you see my face. We're in the reception area. This is where I came in the door. So I was here as a receptionist and became the first A&R secretary to this company. And how did you become a singer then? I was a singer when I came. I just waited my chance. I want you to notice the floor here. The beats were beat out sometimes for the sounds on this floor. And if you see the tile is uh, kicked off, getting the Motown beat. Jimmy Mac, Jimmy, oh Jimmy Mac. When are you coming back? Need your love And that was kicked off right here on that floor. Studio A. Marvin Gaye had recorded Dancing in the Street when I first heard it. And he had put a real smooth vocal on there, sort, sort of like calling out around the world. Are you ready for a brand new beat, baby? Summer's here and the time is right. And for some reason, Marvin said, Let's try this song on Martha. I was uh, in the office, and they let me hear the song, but I couldn't quite feel it that way. I had been to Rio de Janeiro. I had traveled to New Orleans during Carnival Time, so I just knew it had to be somewhere else about dancing in the street, so I put it in my head. I said, well, can I sing it the way that I feel it? And they said, go ahead. So I sang it, calling now around the world. Are you ready for a brand new beat? And uh, they loved it. There was all kinds of congratulatory hand slaps and, hey man, we got a hit in that window up there. And the engineer, Lawrence Horn, looked and said, hey man, I didn't turn the machine on. I had to sing it again. So the second time I sang it, there's a little bit of anger there because I had to repeat it and that this man did not have the machine turned on. It was a straight performance and that's why it sounds live. And I think that's the uh, secret of the success of the hit, the fact that I had to do it again and that I did it without a mistake or without any, any interruption. And the feeling was just right on that song. It's an invitation across the nation, a chance for folks to meet, laughing, singing, and music swinging, dancing in the street. What do you think Marvin Gaye wanted to express with his lyrics? It, the words are very simple. He wanted everybody to dance in the street, everybody to rejoice and have a very good time. It was a hit, a number one hit, and it spread love all over the world. When you play it today, people get up and do what? <laughs> 